This is the great secret of life. Today I'm going to give you my secret about the new 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. The thing is today I have spoken to one of Apple's top engineers. Um, he's a friend of mine, very close friends. We, and uh, we had lunch together, started talking. And the thing that he told me was was very interesting, and it made perfect sense. Have you ever heard about this story? The story about you have the iPad 2 and then you have the iPad 3. Okay. So therefore we have the difference between the A5 ships and A5X ship with quad-core graphics. Many gamers around the world, they send me their comments, mails to, to my channel stuff. They told me that, Mark, the thing is, even though the iPad 3 has quad-core graphics, but the quad-core graphics will not boost or increase the speeds of the gaming experience because the quad-core graphics will have to work very hard in order to generate enough pixel for the radar display. So, if you buy the MacBook Pro 2012 with regular display, the, the, the normal display, okay, believe it or not, when you play a game, when you do Maya, when you do AutoCAD, when you do Cinema 4D, when you do 3D Max, probably run Windows, Power, or whatever, when you play games, believe it or not that you will get better performance compared to the one with regular display. Because the thing is, the NVIDIA graphic Hard to have to work harder, work harder to run that radio display. So, of course, we have resources, but if you go for the radio display MacBook Pro, and of course, you gotta understand one thing: it's exactly the same story. With because radio display is not new. It's been a while on the market. It's not new at all. You purchase the iPad 3. In order to get the most out of the iPad 3 screen, you have to buy an app that has been updated or specifically designed to get the most out of the radio display. But these apps are, tend to be Larger. This app tends to be larger because, of course, is it supports Retina display. It must. It requires more space. It must be larger. Therefore, when when I was working at the Apple store, I always say things like, "Hey, I would suggest the 32 gigabytes iPad if you play games, or if you want to um, put some movies onto your iPad. 16 won't be enough because you have one chance." because the iPad 3 doesn't have a slot for mini SD so you cannot increase the storage in the future the bottom line is it's hard to swallow but the iPad 3 it's hard to swallow but the MacBook Pro with red on display is slower for graphics for graphics performance is slower than the one with regular display.
You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me. But the thing is, you know what? There is you. There is no YouTube partner programs in Thailand, and I got nothing from making YouTube. After 380 videos and 3.7 million views throughout the world, I earn nothing, zero. I ain't gonna lie to you. We gotta still work for Apple. If Apple survive, I'm survive. I got a job. I would like to make these videos to tell you something briefly with all your respect because I believe in people intellectual. The thing is, after I released my videos about the MacBook Pro 2012 Reda display, I have received many stupid comments like, Mark, have you ever even watched the WWDZ? You know what? I work for a Mac store. I am an inside man. I work for Apple. I don't have to wait for the WWDC to know all the specifications. I have known about this two months ago. But for some reason I couldn't make video to unveil all of this. It's about business ethics. I want to ask you something. If you are a man, if I can prove that I could have access to WWDC videos before any of those, if I can prove that I can have access to even few Schiller emails, will you stand right there and I'm going to put a gun, I'm going to pull the trigger, I'm going to blow your fucking brains away. Will you allow me to do that? Will you bet your life that you insult other people? I'm doing my videos on YouTube for nothing. Nobody pays me. I bought all these gears, all these books about Mac OS X and stuff, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, using my own money. I'm doing this because I want to help people save money with my good intention. The thing is, nobody pays me for doing this at all. The thing is, if you are a hater and you want to post a stupid comment, rethink really about that because it's going to be a waste. Because the thing is, I work as a team. I have my team. Because the thing is, if you are like me, you have 370 plus videos on YouTube and you got more than 3.7 million views on YouTube. When you check your mails every day, you will see that you have to receive at least 50 comments, notification from YouTube every day, at least. Someday you get 200 and you can catch up with this thing. I got an assistant, she's my secretary, and I told her that for every stupid comment, you just block this piece of shit, just block it. And, but, so the thing is, if you post stupid comment, or if you're a hater, you block it. You block it. We are going to block it. We are going to block you. You won't see me again. We are going to block you. You won't see me again. Okay. But there is another story. Let's say you are not a hater, and you have your reason. I respect your opinion. We have the right to think different. But even though we have different approach, different perspective, different opinions over a certain thing, it doesn't mean we cannot be friends. I have my opinion. You have different opinions. But we can sit and talk. Probably we can have a beer. Probably we can talk. We can be, we can be friends. We can just sit together. We can watch the Euro soccer or football. So that's the thing. I hope you understand. So one more time, you're a hardcore gamer. The regular display, the regular display will not help you if the game hasn't been specifically designed for the regular display. Thanks for watching.